All right, uh, good afternoon or good evening. This is uh, lesson three, three, four, or 3.3.4, double number. Okay, so now we're getting into where <clears throat> I don't know if they went over this or not in the video, so I did this a while back. Um, so you got these two files unit test, all right, and your scratch pad Java. This is where you kind of do your workout. Um, <clears throat> so what now was happening is you got two, two classes that you're using and the extended class and your uh, so this is your console this is the one that's extending to console program this is your method okay that's being ran in here all right um, or this is uh, the command that's being ran inside the method double in, double number this is your int data type x variable uh, this is your uh, run method unit test this is what what they want to do is they want you to make sure you just type it in here um, and that's it this is the answer guys uh, public in double number in x return return your value two times x whatever x is and then if you have it here any number that they run it's going to multiply it by two when it calls double number because it would be right here so you call double number um, uh, that would be your private your uh, method call that you put in here. Anyways, I hope this makes any sense. Uh, they're not wanting you to do much. Uh, just type in this information and you're good to go. Submit it uh, and get a grade for it. Okay, talk to you. Well, actually, let me go to the next one. It's uh, square. Uh, same thing that you're doing here. You got uh, return. This is your method with your parameters. This is your uh, your uh, what you're having it return. Okay, so that's x times x. On your scratch pad, this is what it actually be calling. So it's pulling it from your unit test. All this is kind of, I'm not sure why they're doing this. If we're running NetBeans, you do have a, a test class that you run. And your test class allows you to run your uh, applications to see if everything's working right um, as you're going through your test method. So they're calling it unit test scratch pad. Uh, so this is the answer, guys. Go ahead and copy it down. You got your method, you got your public int square, okay, int x, return x times x, and if you go back up here, it's the same thing, okay, public int square, so anyways, this is your method that you're calling up on this one, all right, uh, and so you can, let's go to the next one, average, and as you can tell, if you look at the bottom of my screen, I'm still working on these, I'm going to get these up tonight, all right, I'm going to get these up, um, so we got public double average double a double b you know that that's your your method and your parameters you got your return I was doing some other work here and I think I messed up here at this point so let me get that uh, return a plus b that's what's and here you're doing your order of operations what's for in parentheses first and then you go into the next so anyways uh, here's the answer guys go ahead and write this down okay and that's pretty much it you're not having to do too much you're just kind of having to fill out what they're wanting you to fill out uh, the, what the assignment is. Like I said, I did this a while back, so um, here it is. Anyways, talk to you guys later. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish these up, get these uh, graded, and uh, and upload some new videos, and I'll get these uh, up tonight. Okay? Talk to you guys later. Bye.